If you've been struggling to figure out how to connect your N8N agent to WhatsApp, you've come to the right place. Look, I've researched all over YouTube, all over the internet, and I've had to kind of piece together how to do this, but I've made it super simple in this video. So by the end of this video, you will be able to chat with your agent through WhatsApp, whether you're on your computer or you're on the go using your phone. So stick around for that. And if you're interested in leveling up your knowledge of AI, I highly recommend joining my community AI foundations in there. We have a vibrant community feed with all kinds of questions coming in about AI automations and AI agents. That's where you can get support from me and my brother. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. We also have weekly calls that you can join and you can ask questions live or discuss the latest developments in AI. And we have numerous courses, probably over a hundred modules now, teaching the foundations of artificial intelligence. So if you're interested in implementing this in your business and using practical guides to do that, then I highly recommend joining AI Foundations using the link below in the description or the top pinned comment. All right, so I'm here inside of my N8N account and I'm using a cloud N8N account. And the reason that I'm doing this is because I don't have to set up SSL. I don't have to do any security. I don't have to do any of that. And the APIs are going to work better for these chat applications like WhatsApp. My full tutorial that I created, I did mostly locally and we didn't run into any issues with the apps we were connecting. But as soon as you go to connect chat like WhatsApp or Discord or Telegram or whatever you want to use, you're going to run into issues if you're not on the cloud account. Most people won't tell you that on YouTube. So if you spend your time trying to figure it out, uh, you know, you might get to the end of the connection and realize that it doesn't work. So just wanted to recommend that you use a cloud account if you want to set up the chat outside of N8N. Now we're going to hit start from scratch and I'm going to add a first step and I'm just going to type in WhatsApp and I'll see WhatsApp business cloud. And I'm going to click on message. This is going to be when a message is received in WhatsApp and sent to our agent. Uh, basically, this is the trigger for that, right? So I'll just name it that. We'll just call it uh, chat received. And I'm going to add some credentials. So I'll click on select credential and create new credential. Now it's going to ask you for the client ID and the client secret. To get this, you are going to need a Facebook account because Facebook is attached to WhatsApp. It's all under the parent company Meta. So to get this, you're gonna to go to business.facebook.com and you're going to click log in with Facebook if you're not already logged in. I'll just log into my personal Facebook account. And from here, it might bring you into your business portfolio if you've already created a business portfolio or used business.facebook.com. But if you haven't created a business portfolio, you can go to business.facebook.com slash settings, hit enter, and you're going to hit create business right here. It's going to ask for your email, your name, your business. You'll hit next through a few screens and then eventually you should be set up with your business portfolio. Now I've got all of my business portfolios right here, but you're just going to want to select the business portfolio that you want to use. You probably only have one of these. So I'll just click on this business portfolio and we'll use this one. You're going to want to go down to where it says apps in the side under the accounts toggle that might be closed, but you can just open it up and hit apps. And then you're going to hit add and create a new app ID. Here I'm going to enter the name of my app and I'm just going to call it N8N agent. And I'll put in my email as well and then hit next. On this use cases tab, you're gonna to go to other, hit next. For the app type, we're gonna select business and then hit next. We'll enter our app name, our app email, and then we'll make sure that it's connected to the proper business portfolio, which mine already is by default since I'm logged in as this business portfolio and I'm just gonna hit create app. Next, we're going to click set up on WhatsApp. Great, now we have WhatsApp all configured. Next, you're gonna go to app settings and you're going to click basic. And this is where you're going to get your credentials for N8N. So copy your app ID and paste it right here for client ID. And then you're going to copy your app secret and you're gonna paste it right here for client secret. Now hit save and it should say connection tested successfully. Now we'll close this modal and we'll go back to Canvas. And from here, you should see the start of your chat. Now to make this work, we're just going to add a quick agent in here. So I'll go advanced AI, AI agent. I'll click on the chat model button at the bottom and I'm just going to use open AI. 
And here where it says connect credential, you'll need to connect your credentials for OpenAI. So I'm going to hit create new credential. And this one just requires an API key. To get this, you're gonna to go to platform.openai.com and you're gonna sign up or log in if you already have an account. Once you're logged in, you're gonna click on the settings button in the upper right hand corner. And you're going to go into billing and load in like five to $10 worth of credits for testing purposes. This is not the same as your OpenAI account, whether you have a paid account, whether you have a free account, whether you have a pro account, whatever it is, this is different because it's on the developer side of OpenAI. It's giving you access to their model to use in other apps like N8N. So you're going to need to go into billing over here and load in some money. Like I said, $5 should be enough for testing. And then you're gonna to go to API keys after you've done that and you're going to hit create new secret key. Now I'm just going to name my key N8N agent. It doesn't matter what you name it, just name it something that you'll be able to remember. And then we're going to select a project and I'm just going to go with my default project and hit create secret key. Now I'm gonna copy my key and we're gonna paste it over here in N8N and then hit save. Now I'll close this modal and we'll hit back to canvas. And now we have our chat GPT connected. Next, we just need to connect a memory. So I'm going to hit this plus right here and then I'm going to click window buffer memory easiest and I'll go back to canvas. So now we have memory and we have a model. So everything is all set up with the agent that we need for now. We can add tools later. But what we wanna do next is connect the WhatsApp send message. So this is when a chat is received to the agent. The agent has a chat coming in. Now we have to set it up where the agent actually sends a chat out. So we're gonna hit plus right here. We're gonna type in WhatsApp and you're gonna click on WhatsApp Business Cloud, send a message. Now we'll need to set up a credential for this as well, but it's a different credential from the other one. So we're gonna hit select credential, create new credential, and you'll notice this time it wants an access token and a business account ID. And this was actually really confusing for me to figure out at first, but I did figure it out and that's why I'm making this video to share with you guys. Like, I don't know why they have all of these different access tokens. It would be nice if it was just one, but Facebook overcomplicates everything. So uh, we can thank Facebook for purchasing WhatsApp, I suppose. Anyways, to get this access token and this business account ID, you're gonna head back over to your business manager inside of Facebook. You can hit save changes on this. And next we're gonna go to the WhatsApp dropdown in the side. I'm gonna click on API setup. And then right here, you're going to see that they have a test number. So you can add a test number or you can add another phone number later on. For now, we'll just use a test number that Facebook provides and I'm going to be entering my phone number here. So I've already added it, but if you haven't added it yet, you can add a phone number here. I'm not sure exactly uh, what it will say, but it should allow you to add a phone number here. And then you can just type in your phone number and just click on that. And now this is set up to receive messages to this test number and then send messages to your phone number. Now I'm going to generate an access token. I'm going to hit continue and then you can select the account that you want. But for me, I'm just going to go with opt in all current and future WhatsApp accounts so that I don't have to select which one I want to use here. Then I'll hit continue and save and then I'm going to hit got it. Now I'm going to copy this access token and we'll paste this over in N8N. And next we need the business account ID. To get the business account ID, you're just going to come back to this page in Facebook Business Manager and you're going to copy it and you can paste in your business account ID and then hit save. It should say connection tested successfully, and then you can close this modal. Next, we're going to select the sender phone number. We're just gonna pick that test number that we imported. And here I'm going to enter the recipient's phone number. So for this, this is just going to be my phone number. I'll just type it in with the country code. And then for now in the text body, we're just gonna type in success just to indicate when a message actually comes through. Now we'll go back to Canvas. Now I have WhatsApp open on my computer here and you can just open it on your phone if you want or on your computer, but I'm just going to type a new chat. I'm gonna click on the phone number keypad and I'm just going to type in the number from WhatsApp. So I'll open it up over here and I'll check it out. So it's 15551590941. That's the test number that I have here. So I'll hit chat. Now, once this WhatsApp chat is open, I'm just going to hit test workflow and now it's waiting for a message. So I'm going to send a test message. I'm just going to say hello, hit enter. And you should see it trigger over here on this end, but you're going to notice that the window buffer memory isn't working at this point. 
So the reason this window buffer memory isn't working is because it can't see our conversations with WhatsApp because I don't have it mapped up properly. To map this, let's go into the memory and then I'm going to change this session ID here to define below and I'm going to enter a key here. Now I have this key as a copy and paste, so I'm just going to change this to expression and then paste in my key. And you'll notice that this is called chat received. If you remember when I changed the name of that first trigger node to chat received, that's what you're going to want to put in here. So if I go back to the canvas, you'll see chat received right here. It's just whatever the name of this node is right here that you want to enter in this part of this uh, copy and pasted text. But I'm going to give you guys this in the description or below this video somewhere. So you don't have to uh, type this out and find this. Uh, and this should pull through your conversation and give your agent a memory. Here you can decide how far back you want it to remember. So I have it set at five messages. You could set it to 10 if you wanted to, if you want it to remember further back in your conversation. Now I'm going to go back to the canvas. And now if I hit test workflow again and I type in hello, and hit enter it should go through the full process here chat buffer memory worked and as you can see it said success it pulled through the message from that last node right here now if i want it to actually return a message what i can do is i can click into this last node and where it says success right here i'm just going to get rid of that and i'm going to drag in this variable from the ai agent called output and as you can see it said hello how can i assist you today I'm just going to drag that into the text body and then I'll go back to the canvas and let's go ahead and test this again. I'll just hit test workflow. I'll say hello, hit enter, and now it should be able to pull through the full message. And as you can see, it says, hello, how can I help you today? I'm going to say I'm looking for the best place to get ice cream in Chicago. I'll enter. And let's see what it comes back with. I might have to hit test workflow again. Send this message off again. Um, I'm just going to copy and paste it. You normally won't have to hit test workflow every time, but since we haven't activated this yet, uh, that's the reason that I had to type that twice there. So it's pulling it through. And as you can see, it gave me a list of different ice cream places in Chicago. Now, if I don't want to have to hit test workflow every time, I can just turn this from inactive to active. I'll hit got it and I'm going to close this little pop up and I'm just going to say which one would you recommend? And as you can see, it has previous information from the chat right here. When I say which one would it recommend, it's looking at the previous chat using the window buffer memory and then it's recommending one of these options out of the uh, list here. So it gave me Jenny's splendid ice cream as the option. And that was the first one in its list as well. Now this is great. It's working amazing. But one thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to make sure that when WhatsApp is sending through data, it's not just sending through anything because sometimes WhatsApp will send some data through that doesn't have anything to do with the conversation. So I'm going to hit plus right here. I'm going to type in if and we're going to go to if and then we're going to change this instead of is equal to, we're just going to change it to string exists. And I'm going to select the body string and just drag it into here. Now this is going to ensure that a body text message is coming through when this is running. I'll go back to the canvas and now this is all set up. Let's just test it one last time to make sure this works. So I'll say hello. And as you can see, it says, hello, how can I assist you today? So it did work. So if I click on executions right here, and then I find my most recent execution, I should see the flow and how it happened. So it sent the data through, it was true, so it went through to the agent, and then it ended up sending me that message back. So this has been the full guide on how to set up the WhatsApp chat with your agent. I hope you enjoyed this, and if you did, then I know you're going to enjoy my N8N full tutorial where I go in depth on this stuff. Also, if you want further support with building your AI agents, or you wanna learn the basics of AI, I highly recommend joining our community, AI Foundations. There's a link below if you're interested in joining, and we only have 2,000 seats available in AI Foundations. Right now, we're at about 25% capacity, so when that fills up, we're not going to have any room left for anyone else. We wanna keep it high quality, and we wanna keep the discussions and the support at a high level over there. So. If you're interested in joining, I recommend joining now using the link below.
and I wish you luck on your journey building AI agents. We'll see you in the next one.